Welcome to Lesson 3, Citrus Salad. Today, we'll help children get more fruits into their diets by teaching them how to make their own citrus salads out of pink grapefruit segments, mandarin oranges, honey, and fresh mint. Our education piece centers around citrus fruits and the nutrients they provide. Let's get started. First, let's start with our ingredients. Using the prep list provided, make sure that you have pink grapefruit segments, mandarin oranges, honey, and fresh mint. Now we'll check our equipment. Ensure that you have a bucket of sanitizer water with a clean wiping cloth and food service gloves. You'll also need a cutting board, a chef knife, a quarter cup portion scoop, a tablespoon measure, a garbage bowl, prep bowls with lids, and a marker for labeling them. Let's start prepping. For this lesson, I'm using pre-cut grapefruit segments and mandarin oranges. You can use fresh and cut it yourself, but using the pre-cut is a huge time saver. Next, I'll chop the fresh mint. Now we're ready to measure our ingredients. You'll need one container of each of the ingredients per group plus one for the demo. I'll start by measuring the honey using the tablespoon measure. This is two tablespoons per container. Next, I'll measure the rest of the ingredients using the quarter cup portion scoop. Be sure to wash the portion scoop in between each ingredient or use a clean one each time. I will measure one scoop of mint per container, four scoops of grapefruit, and six scoops of mandarin oranges.
Now we're ready to cover, label, and date all of the ingredients. Be sure to keep everything packed in the refrigerator or in a cooler with ice until it's time for the demo. Now let's make sure we have all of the equipment we need for the demo. This includes a cutting board, a chef knife, paper plates, plastic forks, serving spoons, mixing bowls, plastic spatulas, napkins, sanitizer wipes, food service gloves, the handouts for the students, and crayons. Okay, let's head to our demo. We're here on site, ready to set up. I have Brent with me. We're gonna wipe down the tables, set up all the lessons, and get ready for the kids. Hi guys, Hi. my name is Chef Jen and I'm from Northern Illinois Food Bank and I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. I have a friend here with me, Brent, he's going to help out today um, and we're going to learn about fruit today. We're going to learn about citrus fruits. Who knows or has ever had a citrus fruit before? Have you ever had an orange? How about a cutie? How about, you know, the little clementines? How about mandarin oranges? Um, how about grapefruits? All right, so that's what we're learning about today is citrus fruits. Lemons, limes, those are citrus fruits too. So that's what we're talking about. And we're gonna be working with mandarin oranges and grapefruits today. And maybe for some of you, grapefruit might be a new flavor, but we're gonna sweeten it up with a little bit of honey. So we'll see how you guys like it. Does that sound good? Okay, so before we start, I have three rules for this lesson, okay? The first rule is I need everybody to stay in their seats. Can you guys do that? Yeah. You're probably used to doing that all day in school, right? So you guys know how that works. So we're gonna stay in our seats unless I tell you otherwise. Um, the other rule is that while I'm talking, you guys are? Listening. Right, and? Looking up here, right? So I wanna see everybody's eyeballs while I'm talking. Can you make them really big so I can see them? Okay, good, thank you. <laughs> and the third rule, which is my favorite rule, is to ha have some fun, right, yeah. So we're gonna have some fun today. You guys look like a fun group, so I think that'll be easy for you, right? So we're gonna do our lesson. We're gonna talk about citrus fruits today. And citrus fruits have something in them called vitamin C. Have you guys ever heard of vitamin C before? Yeah. yeah, some of you have, some of you haven't. Vitamin C is what helps our bodies heal faster when we're sick. So if you ever have a cold, they say get more vitamin C because it helps you heal faster, okay? So we have a catchphrase to remember about vitamin C. We say feeling sick, that's okay. Vitamin C saves the day, okay? So I'm gonna say feeling sick, that's okay. And you guys are gonna say vitamin C saves the day. Say that with me, vitamin C saves the day. So I'll say the first part, you guys say the second part, ready? Feeling sick, that's okay. Vitamin C saves the day, good. Awesome, so that's our catchphrase for today. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to make this snack. So you're gonna watch me first, and then you guys are gonna do it. Everybody cool with that? Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to check that we have all of our ingredients. Does everybody have a piece of paper in front of them? Yeah. This is your recipe, and a recipe is a list of all your ingredients plus the instructions on how to make the snack, right? And so we need to check our ingredients and make sure that everything that's on this list is sitting on our table. Can you guys help me do that? Okay, let's look at our ingredients. The first thing is great, pink grapefruit. Does everybody have pink grapefruit on their table? Yeah. Yes, okay, good. How about mandarin oranges? Does everybody have mandarin oranges? Yeah. Good, how about honey? Does everybody have honey? Yeah. Yes, and how about fresh mint? That's the green stuff. Good, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this recipe and you're gonna follow along on your piece of paper and then by watching me, okay? Now, in order for me to be able to do this, I need a helper. 
Anybody want to help? How about you right there? Great shirt. Yep. This little guy. Come on up. Come on up. Come stand right here next to me. What's your name? Jeremy. Jeremy. Nice to meet you. I'm Chef Jen. All right. Jeremy's going to be my helper today. So this recipe is pretty easy. So we have a bowl. Everybody's got a bowl, right? And then we're going to take, remember, just watching, we're going to take all the lids off of these bowl, these little bowls, and we're going to take each of the ingredients, and we're going to dump it into the bowl. So grapefruit first. Okay. Then our mandarin oranges. Throw those in there. Isn't this pretty? The colors of this is so pretty. All right, and then we're gonna put in our mint. So when you open this, take a big smell. What does that smell like? Leaves. Does it smell like gum, kind of? Yeah. Like mint gum? Yeah, this is where, where mint comes from. So we're gonna sprinkle the mint in there. And this might be a new flavor for you guys, so it's gonna be something a little bit different for you to try. And then we're gonna take the honey and we're gonna put the honey in there. So the honey, it's gonna be a little hard for it to come out, so you can use this scraper and scrape all the honey right into the bowl. I love honey. Yeah, honey's delicious, right? Yeah, yeah. Hold it over the bowl while you do that. That way you don't drizzle any. Okay? I like to put you like honey on pancakes? I like it on toast. Oh. Okay. And you're gonna it might be a little sticky, but that's okay. We have napkins for you. And then you're gonna take the same spatula and you're gonna kind of just gently mix everything together. Can you kind of gently mix it all together? So because we want to make sure that the honey gets all over all of the fruit, right? So while Jeremy is mixing, if you guys look on the other side of your recipe, there's a worksheet. And this is what you're going to do while you're eating your snack. So we're going to make the snack first. And while you guys are eating, you can do your worksheet. And so there's two directions. The first one is to fill in the blank in the bubble. It says, feeling sick, that's OK. Blank saves the day. What do you think you should write in there? Vitamin C, right? Vitamin C. And then you can color in the citrus fruit. So those are lemons and oranges. But you can also color them. You can make them limes if you want. You can color them whatever color you like. All right, that looks so good. Do you guys think Jeremy did a good job helping me? Yeah. yeah let's give him a round of applause. Nice job, buddy. You can go sit back down. And so then at your table, once you have your salad all mixed together, you can use this spoon or you have these two, these kinds of spoons. These big ones, you can take it like this and put some of the salad on your plate, just like that. And then what do you think we're going to do with it? Eat it. Eat it, right? That's the best part, OK? Does everybody think they got it? Yeah. Can, can you give me two thumbs up if you got it? OK, let's do it. Brett and I are going to come out and help you. So the citrus salad recipe is a little bit different. Um, but this is just a different way to get them to try citrus, especially something like grapefruit. They're not always trying grapefruit, so we added a little honey to it to make it a little sweeter. So they're a little scared of it at first. And I always say you don't have to like it, but I'd like you to at least try it. And the more they try new things, the more adventurous they'll be, and they'll be used to trying new things, so they'll be less hesitant when out of this kind of setting where they are presented with something that's new, then they can, they'll be a little braver, I think, to try it. Okay, you guys, while you're mixing and eating, everybody look up here for a second. Remember to do the other side of your worksheet. So remember, what are we going to fill in in the blank? It says, feeling sick, that's OK. Vitamin C saves the day. And then we're going to color our citrus fruits. And then while you're eating, when you're done, we're going to take all of our garbage. So these bowls and the plates and the napkins are going to go where? Garbage can. Any of these bowls, the silver ones, and the two spatulas, those are going to come up here and go in the gray bus tub, OK? So garbage in the garbage can, dishes in here. Everybody got that? We make these recipes as user-friendly for kids as possible. You know, not just for home cooks, but really for kids. And so the idea is that they take their worksheet home. It's got the worksheet on one side, the recipe on the other. And the hope is that they'll actually make that recipe either for their families or with their families to try at home. Damn.